What up, what up? I'm back at it with another video. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel. Help me out with my goal of getting to 1,000 subscribers. Hit like on this video and leave me a comment about why you think so many black actors are anti-black. Okay, so I wanted to get into this and offer some perspective. So I started acting when I was pretty young. Um, I knew I, was, I wanted to be an actor from a relatively early age, maybe since like maybe like 13 12 13 something like that and even before that i used to like dance in front of the tv my mom would always catch me like hugging the tv and like wanting to be inside the tv basically wanting to be on tv but yeah i did all of the school plays and school musicals in high school and i went to college and i studied theater arts and i had my concentration in acting after graduating college i have studied with so many different acting coaches and at so many different schools acting schools so i I've been out of school for eight years and I've been a working actor since auditioning and doing gigs here and there. So yes, I have some perspective, obviously not the same perspective as like a household name or somebody who has been on like an enormous platform or enormous show, but you know, I, I know some things, right? <laughs> so as I mentioned, as a kid, I was in front of the TV dancing a lot and as a kid, I was really raised by film and television. When my parents were at work, me and my siblings, we would watch TV and film all day long. And that was like our babysitter. And I know that's an experience that many people have, many people whose parents work all the time, many black people, many people who are impoverished, they have those similar experiences. And so when you talk about TV and film, so much of it is anti-black, so much of it is classist, so much of it is sexist and when you think back to like a birth of a nation like the the beginning of hollywood really it's you see white actors in blackface you see them acting like animals and beasts even the whole cowboy lifestyle they turned it into an aesthetic and so you see appropriation of culture and flattening out of culture but also romanticizing it too is just like commonplace in Hollywood. You see how they portray Native Americans or American Indians in Hollywood, especially back in Westerns and things. It is disgusting. That is the beginning of, of you know, film in, in the West. And some would argue that not much has changed or that it's it's just building on that legacy, it's building on the back of that. There are all of these subconscious messages that we just take in. Who gets to be deemed the hero all the time? Who gets to be deemed the villain? Who gets to be seen as a love interest or innocent or dainty or attractive? So you see very quickly that these things are racialized, these things affect black women in a very particular way. And so a lot of us who were raised by TV and film, it's like, yeah, I can see why you are classist. I can see why you do not desire black women as a romantic partner, at least maybe as a sexual one. You can see very clearly because what we are putting in our systems is very anti-black, is very anti-black woman, is very anti-LGBT. And yet it's just wild because I feel like I've come in contact with so many black male directors who are so incredibly anti-black and I've come in contact with so many black actors, male actors who are so anti-black and so anti-LGBT and it is always just so jarring and sad but jarring it's like what like damn and a lot of us benefit from the work of activists a lot of us may want to distance ourselves from oh black lives matter um, especially in the beginning right when this movement first popped off you saw a lot of black elite black hollywood black musicians be like Ugh, no i don't want to be associated with that stuff right? I don't want to be marred with that. I don't want to be marked down or put in a box as like a black actor. But because of the work of activists, we greatly benefited from that. There has been this real push for inclusion at many levels. And even though there is a lot of critique that a lot of that is surface level and it's really not fixing the problem, we benefit from that. We benefited from a lot of the work of Black Lives Matter. We benefited from the work of Oscar So White. So it's just really remarkable to see the arrogance and apathy 
it just kind of reminds me about like how much the TV and film world has changed over the last 15 years. When I think back to what was going on in 2005 and 6 and 7 and what I had to look forward to as an actor versus what I look forward to now, it's just very, very different. And that kind of reminds me of like many black actors and directors are brought up in either middle class or upper middle class homes or at least aspire to those lives and those backgrounds and there's such a disconnect between middle class and upper middle class lives that we actually live and the actual roles that were written for black people if you look around it's like oh a black man is going to be in a film he's likely going to be a thug or going to be a drug dealer or is going to be the sexy character that's like a mandingo and crazy in bed and that is just like so radically different from the actual lived experiences of like black actors who are middle class or upper middle class and kind of like bougie and so we go to these schools we get the best training in the nation and then when we look at the market all we have to play are these really flattened stereotypes of black people with no real character arcs no real service to the story and it's all the same there's no variety so it's just like that is frustrating but at the same time it's like there is also this air of like oh i'm better than that like ooh, you want me to play a drug dealer you want me to play uh, I mean, okay, I, I guess I'll have to do it. Well, whatever. And it's like this air of like, I'm so much better than this. And like this classist, anti-black sentiment at the root and at the heart of it. And it's frustrating because so many people in this industry, you know, we have to be good readers. We have to be able to read a text and immediately make a decision about who this character is. So if that is true, I want I wonder why more black people in Hollywood don't read about race and don't read about internalizing anti-blackness and don't educate themselves out of this. And you know, one conclusion I could come to is that Oh, they know. They just don't care. They're capitalists at heart. And we know that capitalism is anti-black. And we know that capitalism is like a global thing. We know that it's all about making a few people rich while exploiting the labor of other people. And whether those other people that are being exploited are black people in this country or people who have been imprisoned in this country or whether it's exploited labor from Mexicans, exploited labor from people in Congo, exploited labor from people in Indonesia, exploited the labor from people in China. It's the acceptance of like capitalism and not caring that this is wrong and like oh this is just the game. You can't beat them, join them. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. What is it gonna take for us not to be this way anymore? It's like so many of these actors open their mouths and it's just so ugly. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below because I do not have all the answers. This is just my perspective. Yeah, I want to hear what your perspective is. Peace.